everybody this is dear mama sal and i have just left a doctor's appointment a specialist appointment actually um where they're trying to find out why i am having the problems that i'm having and as some of you have already <laughs> mentioned in your communications with me privately like You've noticed that I haven't been doing too much in the way of vlogs recently. Well, the reason is I haven't been too well. And its I don't think it's anything serious, but we can't find out what's causing it. I am getting more and more tired and less and less ability to do very much, which is a bit frustrating for me because I'm not used to that. Now, I don't want to say it's because of my age. Um, and because I don't think it is. I think it's something more than that. But the reason that I've been out and about today is I've been to a respirologist because they did a what I call a first level sleep apnea test. And for those of you who don't know what sleep apnea is, that is to find out how many times during the night do I stop breathing. <laughs> I always think that's such a fun thing to know. And apparently it's somewhere sort of in the seven to ten times an hour rate, which is not too serious. It's when you don't wake up at all that you have to worry. <laughs> um, so the reality of it is that because of the symptoms that I have, in as much as I am getting more and more fatigued. Um, they actually do want to do the upgrade test on me. And the upgrade test is that I have to go in and actually get hooked up to 1001 leads and monitors and sleep in the hospital overnight. And then they'll be able to find out how serious things are and what's causing it, for example. Um, which they tell me is not an erotic experience. Yeah, it's not fun. It's, they, you know, the specialist made a point of telling me it's, you know, it's not fun, but it is important. And he said, you know, that normally he wouldn't worry too much with the readings that I have, but because of the symptoms that I've got, he's a little bit more concerned that something else might be going on that they want to find out about. So we understand that we're getting you know, into the Christmas time and everything else. So I'm going to try and see if we can get a date in the next couple of weeks. And if not, then I will probably put it off until uh, the middle of January. So that's what's going on. And... I wish I could give you something else to tell you why I haven't been doing any vlogs or done very few. It's just I don't seem to have the energy to do anything. Now, what I said when I was asked today, you know, how are you? My answer was pretty good, thank you. And then I sort of stopped and I said, well, obviously not pretty good because otherwise I wouldn't be sitting in front of a specialist. But I mean, pretty good compared with a lot of people. And I, I always remember that, you know, it's like, yeah, I am extremely tired all the time, but better that than a lot of other things that could be wrong with me. So that's the way I look at it. I'm grateful for that. Now, I'm not grateful for the fact that I've done less and less uh, with the vlogs. I have continued to do the broadcasts because to me that's really important that I do that. So, thank you for caring, is what I want to say. I know a lot of you have written to me um, privately and, and wanted to know how I'm doing. And I've taken that as very, I've been very touched by that because it shows that it's a two-way street. I'm hoping that this might answer some of the problems and 
we'll see. The, like anything else in life, it's you know it's a wait and see thing. Now the good news is because, and I think this is something that people always query about the Canadian healthcare system. I had to wait a long time to get to see a specialist, a couple of months. But from this point onwards, um, you know, it might take a little while to get in for the sleep test. But the good news is it doesn't cost me anything. So in other words, you know, once you've been assessed, once you've got this far, then it's all paid for under the system that we have. And I know a lot of people get confused about that. So I could go in for a lung transplant tomorrow, which I won't be doing, obviously, touch wood. Um, but, you know, and that would be covered completely. The downside of it is you wait a bit longer to get in to see a specialist and you wait longer to get into hospital. And that can be frustrating, but obviously they triage it and their most important cases go first. And I think that's pretty fair. Now, I want to tell you what I heard this morning, and it shocked me. I saw a clip, a news clip this morning about the fact that in Libya at the moment, they are selling slaves again. I don't know about you, but I literally, my draw, jaw dropped, my draw dropped, my jaw dropped, it was just like, what? And they not only talked about it, they actually had live camera footage of it happening. And what I understood, and you might want to look this up because it was interesting, that they've got a lot of migrants coming in from Mali and other places in Africa coming north and some of them are being caught and sold to work in the farms and you might wonder what's the going rate of a slave today in Libya it to be about 700 bucks. Seemed to be the going rate. And I don't know about you, but it's like, how many more things are going to happen in this world that are taking us backwards instead of forwards? And what are we going to do as a society to, to stop this? And what I decided to do was to let you know it's going on, in case you haven't heard about it. Because knowledge is the first step, you know, to, to know that it's happening.